2.7, negative 2.745, yeah? Okay, so objects will oscillate between x equals 3 and x equals negative 2.745. That's the answer, okay? And uh, the, uh, the answer would be something similar for x equals negative 3. If you put it, so this would be negative uh, 2.745. If you put it at x equals to negative 3, well, objects will go and then oscillate to all, all the way somewhere here past 3, you see. So this is the kind of answer that I'll be looking for. Now, if, you had, if the graph looked like something like this, what would happen? Let me just give you a scenario here. What would happen if the graph had looked like this? And you put it at x equals to 3. OK, it would come, go, go, and then it would just be lost forever. OK, the object would feel a force continually to the left. And it will go to x equals negative infinity. OK? So because it has enough potential energy that it began with, it goes, it goes down. If this point, if this potential energy is greater than the maximum potential energy here, then it's going to come down and then cross over. By the time it gets to this point, it has some kinetic energy, right? The potential energy that it initially has here, as it's coming down, it's gaining kinetic energy, right? Kinetic energy. It goes up here. At this point, it has that potential energy. The difference between the potential energy it had here and the potential energy it has here is its kinetic energy. So it doesn't stop. So it continues to go for after that forever until it goes to x is negative infinity. Okay? So that's gives you an illustration of um, what potential energy, the, the, the value of the potential energy function, its meaning and its value, and how we can go from potential energy to force, and uh, how it can give us the stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium.